Wow, we finally arrived for Bidud. We're hey, here, baby. Let's go. Oh, we finally made it. Oh, Kapain. The flight landed a couple hours ago, and we're officially Israeli citizens. Boker Tov, Maya. Boker Tov, Tanya. Boker Tov. Kylie and Noor are doing yoga. <laughs> Trying it out. Our landlord and landlady for the Airbnb that were in Jerusalem are fantastic. They've been giving us so much stuff. They got a call today from a local bakery that they had some extra stuff that they had to get rid of before Shabbat and they wanted to give it to some lone soldiers. We're spoiled. We're overwhelmed. We don't know what to do. <laughs> we're culture shocked. And we're mostly just really grateful. Our aunt and cousin came to visit us now. There's Mo and Rami. This is our first home cook dinner by ourselves. Shakshuka and all of that. First falafel in Israel. It is officially our last Shabbat in quarantine. They hooked it up with pre-cooked Shabbat meals for us. Today's the day. It's the morning of August 13th. We are out of Bidud, finally. And this morning we're going to Kibbutz Geva, our new home for the next year. We're in the bus. Say hi. This is Gabe and Nili. Hi. How do you guys feel about moving to the kibbutz? Excited. Yeah, excited. Are you nervous? I will talk This is Eric. Omri. Aya. Like we're pulling up to the kibbutz in a little bit. I'm pretty excited. I'm super excited. But I'm here with my madricha Amit. Hello. <laughs> Amit, just a couple years ago you were a participant in Green Sabar. Yes. And now you're a matricha with all of these little babies under your wing. How do you feel about it? Um, I'm super excited. I think I'm more excited than I was for myself. And that's it. I'm like filled with emotions and I can't wait to start. Okay, Kibbutz Geva, day one. How are you feeling, Maya? I'm so Isn't this crazy? It's beautiful, right? So we just arrived to the kibbutz. Tada! <laughs> what are you most excited for? To see your room. Finally moved in for the most part. As you can see, we still have a ton of unpacking to do, but uh, I'm pretty stoked. And we are setting up our rooms and getting settled. We're gonna go to Ikea on Sunday and get some stuff. This is gonna be a work in progress for a while, I think. It just feels really, really weird to be here. Especially because it just it just kind of feels like we're on a field trip and like we'll come back home soon. But this is the new reality and it's really cool. You know, we're not just kind of spectating as tourists. We're getting a feel for what our lives are gonna feel like. It's amazing to be here with the Garin and to have a built-in group of friends, but also we're excited to meet our host families and get to know the locals a bit more. I will show you my view from my room. Here's Geva. We're at the television and already in the base. This one's an interview about your family and your sisters. We're done! So it was really tiring. We've been there since 8 in the morning, but I'm just happy to be done and now we have a sofash. Basically what we're doing today is we're switching out our Teyudat Ole for our Teyudat Zeut. The cool thing about Gurian Sabar is that this entire process is expedited. So we've only been here for three weeks as of tomorrow and we are already getting our official Israeli identification cards. We just left Misrad Pneem and we, we have got our ID. And now we're here in Ikea buying furniture. It's exciting, it makes everything so much more official. Yeah, we're starting to accommodate and uh, fit in. You want to see my room? Yes. It's beautifully done at the moment. Um, you can see it's fully furnished, it's in its 
final stage of its metamorphosis. It's really a butterfly of a room to continue the analogy. Looks like it looks like a tornado thing. <laughs> Ooh, I like this gun. I look good. I look good. What? Dun 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 Start spreading the news. We're living today. I wanna be a part of it. Israel. Israel. <laughs> okay, we're so excited. This is really, really real. Yesterday we started Ulpan. You're hiking in Yachtiko. Eight kilometers. We're hanging out with the kibbutznikim, especially the little kids. Ah, oh, Pishpaka, Chadasha! Whoa, Yara! Yeah.